I'm going to smash you into bits. Smash me into bits? Never fear, maiden. I have come to rescue from this horrible ogre. Oh, yeah? Or what if I smash you into bits? <gasps> you won't. You won't because I'll slice you into... I'll slice you into... <laughs> Come on, Lester. I was just about to defeat the ogre and save the maiden. <laughs> it was going to be my grand debut as the bravest knight in all of Birkenstock. The maiden was going to praise me about how strong I was. Then, the very next day, I would come to the town and there'd be a great parade celebrating my accomplishments. And the very next day, the news would reach across the kingdom and the king would come to our door and he would... Peter! And mother would enter the door and say, Sorry, Mr. King, but Peter's too busy hurting sheep and doing chores to talk to you. Peter! I'm oh, sorry, mother. I was dating again. No, no, Peter. It's fine. I didn't come up here to scold you. <laughs> I had something important to tell you. Important? What is it, mother? Are we getting rid of Lester? <laughs> no. Is Penny getting too old? <laughs> Not exactly. Did you finally figure out what's wrong with Gimpy? Ooh. <laughs> no, none of that. Peter, we got a letter this morning. We have to leave the farm. Oh, that's okay. I was almost done with my chores anyway. No, Peter. All of it. The cottage, the house, the sheep. We gotta leave it all behind, Peter. What says who? The dragon, honey. The dragon? Yes, that darn dragon. He's got so much power on top of those mountains over our tiny little village. It's only a matter of time before we got evicted. I'm not gonna just stand here and let some dragon take away the farm. I am Sir Peter Longsworth, after all. I'm gonna find that dragon and I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna slay him. In a world of medieval fantasy, Peter believes he's destined for greater things than just hurting sheep. So when his home is taken from him, Peter sets out to do a most heroic deed, to slay a dragon. On his journey to the dragon's lair, Peter must travel treacherous terrain and face the fiercest of foes. Along the way, he meets the clever goat, Bartholomew, and learns that not all of life's challenges can be conquered alone. Will Peter succeed? We're not sure. He's just a sheep herder. Peter probably slays a dragon! By John Donovan. Whoa, it's the town! Is that singing? Everything here is wonderful. The glorious town of Birkenstock. Joy and laughter everywhere. Here in the village square. Peacefully we sing our song. Nothing ever could go wrong. By decree of the dragon, the town of Birkenstock shall be evacuated before sundown to prepare for demolition. The dragon will not be held liable for the bone crushing annihilation of remaining inhabitants who choose not to leave their home. <laughs> Have a pleasant day. Oh no! Never fear, fellow Birkenstockians. I shall stop this catastrophe and slay the menacing dragon. Oh, adventure and danger and fighting. Oh, oh my! Wait, who are you guys? Some traveling musicians that just got into town yesterday. Did I hear the town's going to be destroyed? Egad, are you a speaking goat? <laughs> Must be prophecy. What foretellings of destruction doth thou bring me, goat of speech? I heard the dragon's going to destroy the town. Indeed, but fear not. I plan on saving the town by defeating the dragon. Oh, are you? Oh, I'd like to give that dragon a piece of my mind myself. Can I help you? That's very flattering, goat, but don't worry. My bravery and strength will suffice for the rescue of the whole town. I see. Uh, well, uh, do you know where the dragon lives? Well, no. Uh, that may be a problem. Okay, what if I just uh, assisted you in uh, finding him? Like a guy. A goat guy? Perhaps that may be of use to me. Oh, 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 oh. And what about us? We can be a personal band of traveling troubadours. Destined to follow your adventures, documenting them through poem and song. We would spread tales of your bravery far and wide. Tempting as that may be, I cannot have any more innocent civilians on me with my quest. I can't risk you getting harmed. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll travel far behind you as if you've never seen us. Just take this magic mushroom. It smells so terrible, we'll be able to follow you for miles. No, 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 don't hold anywhere near your face. It'll knock you out cold. No kidding. Thank you. Now then, goat, to the dragon. <laughs> Peter's off to slay a dragon with large and pointy teeth. He's got his sword and he's got his pack. Who knows if he'll come back? Whoa, Mark, look, it's the mountain. You can see it's sunny right over there. Oh, you mean across this dark, ominous pit? Yes, there. Oh, Peter, we are not going to fall. We are going to win. Gargoyles, which I'm allergic to rocks. <laughs> welcome to the pit of despair. Welcome, welcome to the pit of despair. No one, no one gets out of here. No one, no one gets out of here. I demand you creatures, tell us how to get out of here. <laughs> 
you lot to know that we love to tell you, but Daisy can't. Only one of us tells the truth. The other, all they tell is lies. Oh, clever puzzle. Something here doesn't seem right. All right, you first. How do you get out of this pit? That way. All right, and you? That way. Oh, come on. Oh, my. <laughs> then both of you say that no one ever gets out of here? How can that be both true and false? Because you both said it. Uh, well, the beginning part doesn't count. God, it uh, What do you think? Uh, no, no, that part definitely doesn't count. <laughs> okay, this doesn't make any sense. You two just agreed again. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's try this. What did you have for lunch today? Uh, or? We asked you a question, now answer it. Oh, um, a tuna sandwich. Oh, no, it was chicken. Exactly, it was a lie. But I'm supposed to be the one lying. I know. Okay, fine. Let's try this again. Next time, I'll be the one that lies, and you tell the truth. Got it? Got it. All right. Now ask us a question. What's your favorite color? Green. green. Don't just agree with me. I did not. It was an opinion question, so it's perfectly fine to have the same answer. Oh. Well, my favorite color is green, so it's That's a lie. Can he say? Now what's all the ruckus? God doesn't understand how to tell lies. So what did you look at birthday socks and something in fish oil? You what? <laughs> no, I promise. <laughs> Please don't tell me back in the stone. Oh. See, I understand how to tell lies. <laughs> So I got these two. Now say, where are you two fine gentlemen headed? Well, after we get out of this pit, to Black Rock Mountain. To slay the dragon. Oh, oh, oh are you? Well, there's a ladder over there. That'll take you out of the pit. Uh, that'll take you to the foothills. There you should find the dwelling of a wizard. It leads to a path straight to Black Rock Mountain. You can't miss it. Uh, thank you, gentle rocks. Safe travels. The pit was dark and scary, but our heroes were not faced. Now they scour the land like big buffoons. For the wizard who knows the way. I'm afraid there's no sign of this knowledgeable wizard anywhere in these hills, Bartholomew. <laughs> oh, Peter, look! Whoa. My name is Xantor. Xantor Harlithian Porrex Morabok the Fourth. I am the wizard of the absurdly tall tower. Your tower sure is tall. We seek a faster route to Black Rock Mountain. Know you of any great wizard? Black Rock Mountain. Well, of course! The quickest route to anywhere is by gliding from the top of my tower. Please walk this way and I shall give you a tour. And this is my yodeling room, where I practice the art of releasing the soul through singing. And up these steps is my haberdashery. What's a haberdashery? Oh, I haven't the slightest clue, but it's so fun to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun choice in paintings. And this is the top floor, what I like to call the parachute stick. Mr. Wizard, I don't see any parachute. <laughs> Centaur, Mr. Wizard, sir. Ah, you thought I would just bring you into my home and show you the quickest route to Black Rock Mountain? You fools. Neither of you shall leave here alive unless you can defeat me in a jiggle wiggle. <laughs> Hold on, I get that you tricked us, but defeat you in a... a what? A jiggle wiggle! <laughs> Only the most challenging duel of endurance and style, the impromptu rhythmic body movements. You mean like a dance battle? Yes! <laughs> I can't dance, I'm allergic! <laughs> I accept your challenge, wizard. What? You think you can defeat me in a jiggle wiggle? I think I can. Oh, very well. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, woo! Hi! <laughs> oh, oh, you're good! You can use the parachutes in that box over there. You can see the top of the mountain from here. Oh, thanks, Mr. Wizard Guy. Even if you did try to imprison us. To the skies! Godspeed, you magnificent dancer! Hands <laughs> to meet the wizard with a strange but helpful now he enters the cave to face his fate where the dragon there awaits. This place almost looks cozy. Don't let your guard down. The dragon could be waiting around any corner. But there's high old floors and that looks like a receptionist desk. He could be waiting for the proper moment to strike. Perhaps he will. Right here! Ah! Please don't kill me! Oh, wait, you're not the Phoenix Dragon. Go figure! My apologies, friend Maiden. That's okay, it's not the first time. Now, may I help you with something? Yes, you may. We're looking for the dragon. Yes, the dragon. The fearsome fire breathing beast who threatens to take away my home. Where would be the beast? Oh, uh, him. Well, normally I have to schedule an appointment for you, but it looks like he has a meeting with an associate here in a minute. If you hang tight, you can catch a glimpse of him. Of course! We shall. Catch him with great haste. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Oh, man. Climbing that mountain never gets easier. Oh, hey, look, it's the uh, dragon. Please call me Mr. Draco. It's a pleasure as always, Mr. Draco. Ah, Jeeper, how does the side look? Like a million dollars? Uh, not quite. But our builders informed us that the foundation is perfect for a strip mall. All we need to do is wait for a few more residents to leave. Oh, my glorious mall. I, Sir Peter Longsworth of Birkenstock, demand to speak to the dragon. I'm so sorry, Mr. Draco. I tried to tell no, him. No, no, there is. It's fine. I'll speak with him. So, Mr. Longsworth, I have a few minutes. How may I help you? You are the dragon, are you not? Of course I'm the dragon. Yes, the monster who plans on demolishing my beloved hometown of Birkenstock. Demolishing? Of course not. Birkenstock is a treasure trove of uh, potential. Really? And then how come one of your workers told us we had to evacuate and prepare for demolition? Yes, that. I'm sure that was just a little miscommunication between my associates and I. Jeepa, would you show the go to the waiting room? Yes, thank you. Come, Peter. I'll explain it all to you. So... Aren't planning on destroying you on my beloved hometown? Consider it a renovation. I'm saying that we update it in order to kick off the business. And what exactly does that look like, Mr. Dragon? A brand new shopping mall, 50 acres, with the newest and trendiest products. Skinny trousers, Sephora, burritos that you can order via owl, those little plastic flower things you set in the sun, they do this. Oh, Peter, he's lying! Right. They really are going to destroy the town! All right, enough questions. Now that you both know my plan, I have no choice but to both force you into labor and my accounting department. <gasps> you monster! Give us back Birkenstock! Oh yeah? And what are you going to do, brave Peter? Slay me? Go ahead. Birkenstock will still be destroyed. No, I'm not. All right, Magic Mushroom, don't fail me now. Yeah! Oh. <coughs> oh. Oh, where am I? Draco, it's me. Father? Yes, I am your father. Father, I always tried to be a good businessman, like you wanted. Did I fail you? Yes, Draco. Don't destroy Birkenstock. Put money into it. In fact, there's a little farm that raises sheep on the rise. Cultivate it, Draco. Don't build a shopping mall. Of course. Invest in a sheep farm. I know you always do best, father. And uh, put the goat in charge! <laughs> Really? The magic mushroom? What made you think of that? I don't know. I thought, think like Bob. He's clever. Mr. Draco? Yeah. Mr. Draco, sir, are you okay? Oh, gosh, what Did those two hurt you? Security! Security! No, Karen, it's fine. <laughs> I've decided the shopping mall won't be necessary. What? What about the Sephora? I have a vision. Or <laughs> oh, a dream, really. My father was there. He told me to. Invest in a sheep farm. Andy had a mustache and referred to me by last name. It was weird. Lester, Penny, Gimpy. Oh, Lester, I missed you. My adventures weren't the same without you walking in on them. <gasps> Peter, is that you? You know you can't just run. Wait, since when did we get a go? Oh no, mother. This is my intelligent new friend Bartholomew. Good evening, Mrs. Longsworth. We stopped the dragon from taking away the town. What? How did you manage that? Well, we found a magic mushroom. Got twisted around by some gargoyles. Wait, did he have anything to do with it? Who? A great jingling -a master. I challenge you to a rematch. Already, you silly old wizard? Bring it! 